When you work on sinking your chi, the most obvious place to start is in your standing practice. Just doing quiet standing allows you to really explore what's going on inside the body, and you have to learn to feel every different part. So starting with standing, eyes closed in a neutral posture, is the best way to begin. However, there are some moving practices that are going to really help you get the sense of things moving through the inside of the body. And so we're going to look at some of those. The Taoist spine stretch is a great one. Not because you're working on opening up the spine, which you are, but you learn how to do it in a way that you feel every part of the spine basically grounds down through the legs, through your feet. So there's a way to do the spine stretch that's not focused on going forward and lengthening the spine as much as it is making the connections between the spine, each part of the spine, and the legs. So I'll show you how to do that one. And it's especially important on the way up because most of us can't really feel the front of the spine and can't get that to drop. We'll also look at a couple different ways to loosen up the hips. And I'll tell you why this is important. And you'll see in the next couple of exercises demonstrated here. <clears throat> loosening up the hips is gonna is a takes you pretty far along the way to starting to feel what's going on in the torso, not just in the arms and legs. So then if you add a hand, you try to create some extra movement inside your torso and feel movement through the belly, through the guts, you're going to connect that to the sense of sinking down the legs, which you already start to get when you just do weight shifting side to side. So there are a few particulars about what you're trying to activate here that connect you more, get more of a sense of what's inside the body to sink through the legs as you're moving. And of course, the best place to play with this before you get into any form work or any faster movement practices is cloud hands because of the natural rising and falling in this movement. But what I hope we can do is get you past the idea of just rising and falling in the arms and shifting in the legs and get it through the whole body. 